All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to lower his car because his suspension is shot. His car lifts off the ground whenever you rock it. So what we're going to do, we're going to trim these bad boys down a little bit. The back, he's got a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut a coil or two off of them just to lower it a little bit because his car rocks really bad when you drive it and he's being a faggot again. And so we just want to see what it looks like. Um, I'll get measuring tape and measure this side. And uh, after we try to figure out how to get this side done, we didn't, we're not entirely sure how to actually take this off. We don't have spring compressors or anything, but we're just gonna see what we can do. This one should be pretty easy to take off if we actually have to take the whole strut off or if we just do it on the actual car. But that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna see if we can get some lowered for free, make him a little less top heavy because he's got all the subs in the back. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, so right now we are taking the front strut and spring off and to do that there's two bolts here that have a um what is it seven eighths seven eighths on for the nut and a 17 for the bolt the seven eighths by the way is the same as the lug nuts or at least on his car so you can like use a lug nut wrench if you don't have one because they're pretty tight to get off and then after that you have this clip right here that holds this brake line in so you want to just use some channel locks to get them out then you have this you just this other line you just kind of pull it and then you have uh this suspension component which is this small one right here and that one is a 17 yes this one's a 17 and then from there you're gonna have to hammer these bolts out be careful to not mushroom them you just want it you might even want to put the uh, nut back on the hammer and then on the top hat you have these three bolts that are 14 millimeter and so we're about to crack that loose and take the um, suspension off all right so we're about to pull it out we just got to hammer off the two bolts right here these come out pretty easily kind of supposed to and then you might have to wiggle around the steering knuckle and brakes and stuff. Ah. Ow, fuck, that hurt. Ah. That just pinched the fuck out of my finger. Look at that, guys. Be careful when you do this shit. Ah. Fuck, the fucking brake rotor's hot. Watch out for a hot brake rotor. Actually, what you might want to do is get the jack and jack it up because they're going to smash my thing. And make sure the car wasn't just driven recently because this shit's hot as fuck and everything's heavy and I just had all that fall on me. So I'm going to put the jack under here. Got a jack stand, put another jack stand and do that real fast. All right, we finally got it off. There was uh, actually one more uh, 10 millimeter bolt holding the, I think that's something to do with the ABS, I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, we got that off and then make sure you hammer this out first because this was a pain um, after we actually got everything out. And then this lower control arm wants to move so we put this underneath it to support it so you don't snug on these brake lines because uh, that can end really badly so make sure you have something supporting it um if not it'd hang all the way down and probably rip off so we got that off and you just had to wiggle this out once you got the, the top three bolts off um everything is pretty much uh fell you want to probably do those last hammer uh that i'm not i can't think of the name of that right now but hammer that out first hammer the um bottom one out and then the top one and then take these off and just all fall down and make sure you have something supporting it or else you'll rip your brake lines and that can end badly so that's what we're doing now we're probably going to take this apart um shoot the spring out and then uh cut it however probably one two coils depending on how low we want to go 
So that's what we're doing. All right, we have it out and make sure you don't have it facing anything because this will shoot out. Wait, and so this is it. Uh, it's not gonna shoot that far. Uh, just, it's a 17 millimeter, and so now we're gonna take it off and hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm gonna stick. Watch out, watch out. Watch this foot. <laughs> there you go. That, that's why you gotta be careful when that happens, because that can hurt hot. someone. You got that, 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 and this that rolled away. But now that we got this off, we can look at it and um, cut like here to maybe do one half. That's like one coil, maybe yeah. one and a half or so just to have it sit a little better. And then you won't have to worry about compressing it to put it back on because this will already be uh, small enough to fit like that. But that's what we're doing right now and we almost died and we gotta do this again and we gotta figure out how to do the back too. But that's what we're doing, that's my car. So uh, this is how you know you need a new strut. If you can just push it down easily, I'm probably putting about seven pounds of weight onto that to make it and see like it just comes back up with its own weight. So he needs new ones, obviously. He just, he, he had a job interview today, so he starts working next week, and so he'll be able to afford them. But, so we thought just for shits and giggles to lower his car, because it's really rocky, that we'd um, go ahead and cut them. See what happens. I've never worked on suspension before, but I know how to do everything. So I just wanted to try it out, mainly. But um, so we're about to stick that back under the car and cut it or whatever. All right, so I, all right, so now we got the spring off, and we're gonna do um, probably right about here, one hole. That's because this is kind of this like flattens out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it here and have it still be able to sit, cut like a coil off or whatever, have it sit kind of lower. And so I'm just gonna cut it like right there, maybe here go a little lower and then that thing should still fit on we're trying to we got spring compressors for the rear that's what we're trying to do right now and then I'm gonna put all this back together while he's doing that so that's what I'm doing right now all right so we just cut one coil off we did like 1.25 of the coil because I didn't want to do a full one but I didn't want to do two less so I did that much like this was I had that pointing down and I cut straight and in order to get cut it I had to cut into the top one but that's not a problem try to cut into the top one when you're cutting it not the bottom one or if you have a reciprocating saw oh, well, that'd be better I just have a angle grinder the Harbor Freight special I actually cut right there on the other side but now we're gonna set that back in the strut and we're gonna throw that away because we don't need it and then we're gonna put that back on and everything and put it back on the car and try to do the back side. He's trying to... How's it going over there, Eric? Pretty well, I forgot how to do it. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. We're about That's about to come off the top hat and then we're going to do the same thing on that side and put it back on. All right, well this has been a pain in the ass. We tried to put it back on, but you make sure you flatten one side so it sits flush inside the top hat or else this will happen. See, it's all crooked and stuff, so we had to clamp it back down. Now I'm trying to heat it down. That side we got cut and put back in. It's like we had to compress it a little bit so you, so that way we don't have to worry about it coming out if he ever jacks his car up again. We just cut one coil off, but now we're having to do this, and I'm kind of burning the bushing, and we can't unscrew it because when you try to unscrew it, the actual, um, that, you know, spin. When you do that much, and that, I don't know what's happening. It's burning. How do you feel? Don't fucking burn it. I can't fucking help it. How else can I take it off, Eric? But that's what we're doing. Oh, that smells really, really bad. But anyways, we're doing this right now, so let's hope this works. All right, so Eric got that side put back on, and this side we you can't really see it, but we heated that, and I had to line it up and shove it in. The, the strut is so bad that it just twists, so we couldn't loosen it or tighten it afterwards. 
So I had I had like the that facing like backwards to shove it in. I could just twist it really easily. And then we had the jack to jack it up and I got these bolts in. I don't have anything on. But everything's coming together and if it sits wrong or whatever, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna have to heat it up. But that's what we're on right now. The next clip will be of us lowering the car and you'll see how much drop it's got. Alright guys, it's the moment of truth. With everything put back in, let's just hope it settles properly. It's all the, the jack stands maxed out. Ooh. It'll settle. It'll settle. Oh, it's actually stiffer. Yeah. Since you shrank them a little yeah. bit. Alright. On to the next side now. Next side. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta drive around. Whatever. Alright, so this is the side we haven't done yet. I'm just gonna measure it. It's a little bit above 31 inches in the front of the non-lowered side. And then in the back, it is 32, so it's almost the same. And now we're gonna go over to this side, which you probably aren't gonna be able to see. And if I shove it down, it is still at 31. <laughs> it went down an inch, well in the back was 32. So it went down an inch, and then in the front, it's at a little above 30. So he lowered an inch by cutting an inch one coil off so that's what my shop teacher said too about an inch of coil so that's how much we cut off and let's see if you can tell the difference non-lowered and lowered that was a lot of work to just go one inch but i guess that's what we're gonna have to do now do this other side so let's do it all right, so on this side, on the back, now that we understood, we, we realized we didn't really have to take the spring out. So instead of going through all the trouble of taking the spring out, we compressed it and then it measured out the same. It was like nine, it was like 25% of the circle after the coil. And so we went ahead and cut it on the actual car. I got underneath and cut it and it turned out just fine. So now we're gonna loosen the coils, uh, spring clamps, and we're gonna try to do the same thing on the front because the bolts, one bolt stripped and it's like all messed up. So we're gonna try to do it on that right now. All right, so what I just, or not just did, but did a, a long time ago and we're still having troubles. Um, I had the spring right here and I didn't have it compressed or anything and I just cut it and it popped. And when it popped, it like unwound. And so I had to wind it back up and now it's stuck right here and I can't twist it back up. It needs to sit right here in order for it to uh, work properly. So I'm trying to, I tried cutting and see if I could hit it up. And now we're gonna try to figure out, now that we have it compressed, we're gonna try to figure out how to twist it. And that's what we're doing. And it is 1042, if you can't see that, on a school night. So we gotta get this done so we can get to class and so I can get to class. And now, we're doing it. So we're, we're, let's hope this works now.